suggest one video uh, or you get to either suggest or vote on one video idea um, for a month, although usually I've been asking for suggestions so far. Uh, and then for the higher tier, which is, that's what this video is, is for, the flowers tier, basically you get to suggest one video um, on like a members only post, uh, post or like suggest any amount of ideas. And then usually I end up doing like, I do two of them, so I end up doing either the ones that are most popular or the ones that I like the sound of the most or the one that is there. Really, it uh, uh, kind of changes up and, and things like that. But um, other than that, I hope that you enjoy this video. I don't know. I'm going to like film my outro here in like one second. It's going to be a little bit weird. But um, other than that, thank you for watching. Here is Plant Day. <laughs> Amazon, um, you can get it, like these little sort of nursery pot type things really easily off of Amazon and things like that. Like, um, honestly, if you just search up like nursery pot and assorted colors, um, then you're able to sort of find stuff like that. These are my little propagation uh, sort of bubbles, I call them. Where I keep uh, mainly my African violets, but you can see my one pothos. Yes, I call it a pothos. I know it's called pothos, but I prefer to call them pothos because that's what my mom has called them. Um, and I have been neglecting this propagation station, truthfully. Um, I uh, oh, there are these sort of little metal or metal. There's these rubber O-rings that have to take off one at a time and honestly I was really into my propagations over the winter but of course over the summer this it kind of falls off in favor of like my just like my outdoor plants and the trees and things like that so it's not necessarily um, a high priority <laughs> so that's why these are in a little bit of a, a state. You'll also see that a lot of the African violet leaves are burnt quite a bit. Um, and then there I'm struggling to find places to put things. Um, but yes, because they've been in the full sun. So the African violets get burnt. Uh, you can see the person that I'm talking to there is just my mom. Um, I don't know if you'll ever be able to see her in the background of this video. I did not think that this video would cut my head off as much as it did, but I don't think uh, it really takes away from anything. I think you can actually uh, see things quite well, at least sort of in the baking tray. The, the tray that I'm potting everything in is just a baking tray. It's this very um, sort of hackneyed solution, but it really works for me. You can see that this, uh, the African violet cutting that I just pulled out is likely going to be the most successful one, I would say, of, like, by the time all of these get planted, it's probably going to end up being the most successful cutting, hopefully. I, like, all of this is sort of relative. The cuttings either take a really short amount of time to take, or they take way too long. I don't know if I necessarily enjoy propagation <laughs> as much as I do just regular old planting of things. Um, you can also see that this sort of setup, I set the laptop up just on the dining table, uh, which is essentially in our living room, uh, pretty much. And behind me, you can see all of like my mom's cacti and like a couple, I think you might be able to make out an African violet sort of in the back there, I think. She's just recently reorganized everything, so I'm not quite sure what's there and what's not. But this was sort of like a, it 
wasn't necessarily a chores kind of day, but it, it was a lot of just plant work, and the, the garage is very um, sort of messy, so this was the beginning of me kind of starting to get things in order, and all of that, like making sure that things were clean, and um, getting the floor cleared out so that I could vacuum it, and stuff like that. Um, so then I took out sort of my propagation stuff, and I was like, I'm gonna get rid of some soil, I'm just going to sort of figure some things out, and, and plant these things. I'm still, uh, bringing things, uh, sort of just off of the propagation station. You see that, oh crap, I forgot about that. Um, shoot, so, um, African violets, if they are in the sun like that leaf was, I don't think I ever show the leaf to the camera, but if they're in the sun, the leaves start burning if they're in full sun. Um, and actually, you know what, this one is probably going to be the most successful one out of all of them, but I did rip off literally like the biggest part of the, the parent leaf, so who knows, we'll have to see how these things go. I don't have a lot of hope. I'm not very optimistic. Like I said, I have been leaving them be. And then, oh, there you can see um, the little plantlets get so big that you start ripping them off because the narrowness of the uh, propagation tubes, like the little bubbles. Uh, here, I'm not sure what I'm going to get, but I realize that the table really is prone to shaking when I'm stomping around. I think I might be, oh god, here I come. <laughs> Shit. Oh yes, it was. I got a, a little spoon for my dirt. I know for sure one of them, yes, so the pink one that I'm filling that's just barely in frame had a little bit of dirt in it before from another propagation that died in it. Um, so I'm just making like a little space for all of the roots from the African violet cutting to go into here. Um, and I'm using the spoon to kind of push the dirt around. I honestly probably would underfill the, the little nursery pot next time, place the roots in, and then dump dirt over top of them. So here I'm going with the, um, the one that I ripped off the, the leaf off of, and then I but basically, I'm placing like the little root ball into the dirt, and I'm patting it in there a little bit more, and then I probably, oh dear, welcome to me being sick still, um, and then I think a little bit later, possibly off camera, I cover that in dirt a little bit more. You can see like the roots get so matted and, and sort of spread out like that, so it's kind of hard to get a good sort of placement on things. So there you can see I kind of like put the roots in and then I'm gonna start covering them in soil. This is a Trenda cup from Starbucks that I've had for probably two years now. Um, it was a water that I got and, um, oh gosh, there's like a chunk of dirt that fell onto the little plantlet. Um, but it is so handy for like little uh, planting projects in the house just like this where I can just bring in like a whole bunch of dirt so that I don't have to bring in like the full sort of piece, a uh, full bag of, of soil and stuff like that into the actual house. And then there I kind of just do a little bit of positioning of the, the cutting and I think I'm burying the roots uh, a tiny bit more. This went a lot smoother than a lot of my other propagations have uh, in the past, just because I think I'm finally getting to the point where I like potting a lot more. Um, historically, I have not enjoyed potting, <laughs> but um, I find that I enjoy it a little bit more. So you can see, I that one, I think I kind of wrongfully put it I think I'm wrongfully predicting that this one is going to do okay, and then uh, I think I need to go get like a rock to put in the bottom, and I think I'm probably also going to go get a couple more nursery pots. Uh, there's going to
gonna be like a little cut here. Uh, you'll see in just a second I stop the, the recording and then I come back here getting ready to do uh, oh yeah there I got a couple of rocks so usually what I'll do is I'll put a rock in the bottom of these nursery pots for a little bit of weight and then so that a little bit less of the uh, the dirt falls out of the bottom of them which is honestly so annoying and um each of these little nursery pots does have a little tray, but honestly, every little bit of, like, uh, um, preventing the dirt from falling out of the pot helps. So I'm just shoveling a bunch of the dirt in there right now. Um, this day was also, like, sort of just uh, a little bit of an errands day, and also just a video game day. <laughs> I, um, I've been playing a lot of Tears of the Kingdom lately, so this weekend has kind of just been an incredibly laid-back one so far. Um, I think what I might try to do is I might try to find something that, like, holds my phone camera a little bit better, so, like, steady, so that I could film, like, something like this outdoors, um, or, like, going places. I, I always feel awkward, like, taking pictures and filming things in public, but, like, if I go in my car or something like that, like, that could be, uh, for sure something that I would do. I would just have to see, like, how I would end up doing that. The other thing that I was like, what the fuck do I do is, uh, I, I, well, I was thinking, what the fuck do I do for this, just because I don't particularly find that I have an interesting life, and I realize I need to, like, myself of thinking things like that because it's not that I don't have an interesting life it's just that I need to sort of like think about it less in terms of like oh I'm not interesting and maybe more in terms of like well maybe I am a little bit more interesting than I give myself credit for because clearly some people wanted to watch this oh by the way I forgot to say at the beginning this video was also suggested by Flower Child, um, one of my lovely Flowers channel members, um, and so that's kind of why I thought to do a little bit of a plant thing as well, because, like, Flower Child, and just thinking, like, okay, what do I do, um, for something like this, but I would like to see if there's, like, a little, um, if I'm ever cooking something one day, I would like to maybe do something like that, like maybe when I'm cooking my breakfast egg or something like that, and then just like little clips throughout the day, rather than just like one long sit-down session with me. But the one thing I really do like about these kinds of videos that certain ASM artists do is I do just enjoy like the voiceover. There is something about the disconnect from what's going on on the screen to what's going on in the actual sort of, uh, like, in the voiceover. I find something very relaxing about that. Uh, oh, you can see I, I'm actually pointing at this one here. This is kind of important. This plantlet is a little bit too small. I don't think it would be viable. And the other thing is that I just don't have a lot of places to put something like this. If the plantlet is too small and the leaf is burnt, there's no way you are getting a viable plant out of that. It's just, it's so difficult um, to actually get something that would root out of that. I believe there's also a couple things that I do to this uh, next couple of African violet ones here that uh, I think a little bit of the plant that rips off once again. And then it's just hard to, um, like, it's really hard to care for those ones where the plant like rips off or the, the leaf is burned or it's just not big enough. It's just a little bit disheartening. And, and here's where I just pull, oh God, that's hard to watch. Oh, crap. Yeah, I just, oh, even like I felt so sad. And then, yeah, I think I made the decision to not plant them. It really is. I, I would seriously though. I would. 
see that I do a cut here in a second or two uh, to go just, I think, start soaking them uh, in a little bit of soapy water. But I'll be back again to, to plant that little umbrella plant cutting. And then, okay, so there I am. I'm back and I'm sort of getting ready to plant that umbrella plant cutting, which has developed quite a bit of uh, sort of a root. Uh, it's, it's developed a, a really healthy system of roots that I never thought it would. Um, the little pickle plant that I have in the water as well, that one is probably going to end up in something sometime soon here as well. Um, but I just didn't really have the motivation or really know where to put it. Um, so fingers crossed that I find something for it soon. That or it just possibly ends up in compost, which is fine because I already have way, 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 way too many plants. I really should do like a plant tour of my house doing like a voiceover like this there. And then I almost pull out that poor pickle plant because it's hooked around the, the roots of the umbrella plant. <laughs> the umbrella plant's roots are a little bit uh, gangly here. I probably left them a little bit too long in the water. Uh, but that's okay, it's starting to get a new little uh, leaf sprout, so that is usually a good sign for an umbrella plant propagation. It's the first time I'm doing one on my own, but I've seen people do it before uh, to a pretty good degree of success. And then here I'm trying to keep things sort of in view as much as I possibly can. So I just put the, the roots in, and then I dump some dirt over top, and then I just try to pack it in. I think I've gotten a lot better about not uh, leaving too much of the plant above the soil. I think sometimes I would plant, uh, like repot or plant things too high in the soil a little bit. But now I've kind of gotten in that good sweet spot to try to find uh, how exactly things should go in their pots when I am putting them in them. And there, this thing is so cute. I, I try to like position it a little bit that way hopefully when the leaves get trained they they go sort of as straight up as possible and they're not sort of leaning towards catching the light i i know that plants want to do that but i i wish i wish some of my plants would just stay sort of growing upright because it's annoying to have to rotate them every now and again if you've seen my hawaiian palm in my room, you absolutely know that that one is, is facing the sun pretty harsh uh, in just one direction. And I constantly have to be training it so that the, the trunk isn't sort of leaning to one side in the dirt that it's in. And then, so I've kind of taken stock of all of the little uh, propagations that I've done. I'm going to cut here to clean out the, the pan. Um, and then I come back and it's all clean. I put them uh, sort of just resting in there. Honestly, I have no idea where I went here. Usually I'm pretty good about not leaving the camera on, or at least I thought I was. Maybe I thought that I would cut this part out. I don't know. It's kind of hard when doing this voiceover um, to actually... Okay, there I am in my... Oh, I was getting water. That's why. <laughs> I can't believe I didn't remember watering these. Um, you'll also notice cardinal sin. I'm getting the leaves of the African violets wet. That is literally just to wash off some of the dirt that got on them. And then that one I really soak. And um, that little watering can is from Ikea. I've got the blue one also. And the, they are just so handy. I love them so much. I am going to, uh, I think, yeah placing all of the little o-rings onto the, the, the sort of rod that props up all of the little bubbles on the propagation stand. And I'm also going to leave the pothos, aka pothos, uh, in its little glass bubble. Its leaves are yellowing, so I don't think that they're very long for this world, but it was kind of 
dresser and the, the plate stands and stuff like that. Um, so that's sort of like a, the same vine as the one that's stuck up like on the wall with a command strip. There, you can kind of see that the leaves are yellowing in this one. It's honestly because I, I haven't changed the water it doesn't, uh, and it doesn't evaporate fast enough. It kind of has started to spread, so I'm not going to be too upset if it dies. Um, but I do just love how uh, pothos or pothos plants just will live after propagation for so goddamn long. It's really, really nice that they do. Um, but they're, I'm not even putting things away nicely. I'm just kind of shoving all of those O-rings just onto that rod. Once the pothos or pothos uh, dies, I'm probably going to end up putting the propagation station just in the basement for now. Just because um, I think maybe propagation will be my winter project. And then, um, and like my just my regular plants, will be my summer project. If anybody's still watching this, I would love to know if anybody would want like an Instagram with my plants. Oh, here we go. This was a lot later into the day where I was starting my watering. Now, the majority of my plants, I actually bought them water. Uh, my house plants, I should say, because I find that, I don't know, I like, I like it because then I get to bring everything down to the kitchen. I take stock of my plants, how they're doing, like how healthy they are, how they're growing. And um, that big one that I've put in the water is my fire sticks plant, which has like probably quadrupled in size in a year since I bought it. It's probably been like a year and a month or something like that, but it has gotten so big and it is still growing. And it's also in my favorite pot that I have. I love, I'm a sucker for a pot that has glasses. Um, and then this plant that I'm putting in the water is my aeonium plant, which has recently lost a lot of leaves, but I think it's preparing to grow quite a bit. This thing is in sort of a boom and a bust cycle. It is so light right now and it is so dry that I contemplate pouring a little bit of water over it so it gets heavy, but the water will make it float upwards. So I think what I end up doing is I end up just letting it sit and it gets quite a bit heavier after sitting in the water for whatever this has been like 30 seconds or something like that. And then, um, and then I pour just a little bit of extra water over top of it. Um, but the fire sticks, I let the fire sticks sit in there for like, it, it is a, a function of, a, I think, at least an hour or two. Um, just because, like, it serves the roots a lot better, especially in a fire sticks plant, uh, to be bottom watered and to have them sit and then drain out uh, for quite a long time. So usually I'll put the fire sticks in the sink overnight before I put it back in the, the glasses pot, although I think I end up putting it back in the glasses pot close to the end of this video. Um, when you see the cut in a little bit, but I'm kind of picking off a couple of the, the dead leaves and things like that, just kind of looking it over, taking a second to inspect it. I don't know, I just like spending these kind of moments with each of my plants just to make sure that they're nice and healthy. I'll have to remember when I put the aeonium back upstairs to point it towards the sun because it's starting to lean uh, something fierce there. And then I do pour a little bit of water over it just to make sure that it gets enough. It likes being soaked, I find. Then you can see here, this is like way, way, way in the evening. I've brought down one of my Orthia plants and I'm about to put my fire sticks. Yeah, I did. I did put it back in this pot here. Um, but like you can see, I'm still kind of just feeling things up and seeing how different uh, ones, like different sort of different sticks on the fire stick plants are holding up. If any of them are spongy or squishy or anything, I drip it out just a tiny bit. And then I kind of figure out which way I want it to go. 
ago since it's experienced so much new growth and then it's probably all dripped out so that I just plop it right into the little glasses guy pot and then it fits almost perfectly I think I, I like the little bit of green peaks above the, the glasses guy pot because I think it matches the, the green at the bottom of that pot as well so then I think here I come back in a second and I grab, which one am I going to grab? I grab, okay, so there's my Oworthia, which is currently in the middle of flowering. And its flowers are so goddamn beautiful. Like, it's huge. It uh, is probably, I, I'm not really good at judging feet, but it feels like it's almost two feet high from, like, the stem all the way to the top of the flowers. This guy loves to be bottom watered. I have bottom watered it every two weeks for a year and two or three months and it has flowered twice for me this other one that i have that i just pulled a, a dead leaf off of is my silver squill which just finished with like a huge round of flowering this thing i constantly think it's dying but it's just the way that this thing works is that it just some of its leaves die beforehand um and then before they put up like a new leaf and things like that so just these little journeys that you think about on plant day but I'm actually about to end the video here I think I do my little outro um, in just a second but uh, I guess yes thank you for being along on plant day I don't know where the hell I am um, oh I'm just gonna add a little bit more water to the uh, bottom watering dish to make sure that these guys get uh, everything that they need but like I say in my outro thank you for watching if you want more stuff like this please let me know I'm happy to make it okay so like I said um, 